Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a video on the Kylie Lip Kits by Kylie Jenner. I got them in the mail this weekend. My mom actually surprised me with them for Easter. So I thought I would be doing a first impression slash review since I haven't even swatched these. It's been killing me not to even open them, but I figured I would wait for a video to do it. First off, I want to say that my opinion is my own. If I don't like these, don't let that stop you from going out and buying them and trying them out for yourself because products like this always change color or the formulation doesn't work well with certain type of people. It's, it's just dependent on you and what kind of person you are. So my opinion is my own. I doubt I'm going to hate them, but I am going to give you my honest opinion. So let's get on into the video. So this is the packaging, what it comes in, and then you open it, and it has, oh, I bent the card, and it says Kylie, and then her website, it comes with a little card with her lip, and it says a little note on the back, you get your receipt, and then you get this, like, protective little foam, and then inside are your lip kits. I got two of them. I got 22K and Posy K. I think that the packaging is really cute, very simple. It has the color of the lip that you got, the lip kit that you got. And then it says her name, Kylie, matte liquid lipstick and lip liner. And I like that it has the name right here and the color all along the edge. And then on the back it has her signature, her tip, which is line your lip with lip liner and fill lips with the liquid lip color, which I will be trying today. I usually don't use lip liners, but for the sake of the video and for the sake of the review, I want to completely do everything. Since this is a lip kit, it is meant for you to use both, so that is what I'm going to be doing. impression on the lip liner is it I mean it's as good as any lip liner I don't really use them that much so I can't really give you like a real critique on them what I can say is I expected them to be a little bit more smooth and like easier to glide on it wasn't tugging at my skin or anything like that but I just thought it would be a little smoother but like I said there was really no negative comments on this I really did like that and I do love the color I could even see myself using this without the actual lipstick and as for the lipstick it actually already dried so it probably dried in maybe three four seconds since I applied it and it feels amazing first off wait let me get to that first off the scent is like a really sweet vanilla icing cupcake kind of smell so if you don't like those kind of smells then I don't think you would like this but I really don't care about the smell at all um, it feels like I have nothing on my lips at all and the color is beautiful I love this color it looks amazing. It doesn't look like it's settled into like the fine lines of your lips. And actually, I feel like the lip liner made my lips look bigger. Because I'm not puckering them or anything and they look bigger. So I'm going to say it's the lip liner that's making it look like that because I never, I never line my lips. But... Oh my god, I'm obsessed. So I forgot to tell you the price on these, but I'm sure if you're watching this, then you probably already know the price. For the lip kit, which is the liquid lipstick and the lip liner, it is $29, so $30. And I really think that that's a reasonable price, because then it comes out to being the lip liner's $10 and the liquid lipstick is $20, which is the average cost for a liquid lipstick. Um, this definitely lives up to the hype right now that I'm like trying it on. 
Um, I will be seeing how long it lasts on the lips, um, if it feathers out, if it changes colors, how it feels in a few hours, so I will be updating you guys on that. But right now, my first impression is that it's definitely worth the hype, it's definitely worth the money. Um, it feels like I have nothing on my lips, and for a liquid lipstick, that's very hard because these things dry out your lips. Um, so it usually feels kind of chalky, kind of like stiff, like your lips are stiff after you put liquid lipsticks on. And I usually always deal with that and I'm just used to it. But this right now, it doesn't feel like that. It feels like, like right now that I'm talking, it feels like I have nothing on my lips. Um, when I put my lips together, it feels so velvety. It doesn't feel like I have anything on it. So definitely my first impression is a 10 out of 10 for these. I would definitely go out and buy more of them. Um, I don't know, I love them. The consistency of these are kind of like the ColourPop ones. Like they come out like very liquidy and then they dry matte completely. Some of them, like the Anastasia ones, kind of come out moussey. But this one is straight up liquid and then it goes into matte. And those are the ones that I prefer most. Um, I just feel like they work the best when they come out straight up liquid. The applicator is just a doe foot applicator like normal, but this one was really soft. And actually, this one's a little different. It's kind of, it's very small. It's a small applicator. The bristles are very tight, but yet it's soft. Like if you put it on, it's very soft. Let's see how a second layer works. Because usually if you put second layers on, that's when it messes up and that's when it starts cracking. And it dried. It's already dry. Wow, guys. Even with the second layer, it still feels the same. Velvety, smooth, very soft. It still feels lightweight on my lips. It feels like I have nothing on at all. I'm obsessed. <laughs> I really do like this product. So it is now 10:20, and I have class at 12. I have a break so I don't know if I will be updating you guys during that break because I'm gonna be at school but if I do it'll show up next and if not I will update you when I get home at around 4:30. so that will be in a few hours and if I do touch up I will film myself touching up so you guys can see what time how it looked when I needed to touch up and stuff like that if I don't need to touch up I'll get I'll let you guys know when I come back home but so far these are amazing and they live up to every expectation that I ever had of them so yeah I do love these a lot so I'll see you guys in a bit also um, as you can tell in the tube it's kind of very pinky so this is like the only drawback I think but I, I mean I think it's like this for every liquid lipstick the ones that I've tried they've always done this on me but it goes just slightly 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 darker than what it is on the tube but this color is still very beautiful on and I absolutely love it all right so now it is 6 11 and it is the end of the day for me I came back from school and I've just been hanging around at home I've had this on since 10 30 in the morning I believe so it has been quite some time. I did touch up once and I'll insert a clip here of how it looked. I had just had lunch and it was chipotle so it was kind of greasy which is why most of like the inside of my lip came off. Um, that usually happens with every other liquid lipstick that I've tried. That's something that almost every single lipstick has in common. It always comes off like around the center. Other than that, it stayed on very nicely. I do have to say that when I did reapply it, it feels kind of crusty now. Like, I don't know. It feels flaky and it feels crusty right now that I'm like putting my lips together. Um, and I think that's just because I should have taken it off completely and then reapplied. Um, instead, I just put it over what I already had on my lips and that probably made it dry out and that's why it's feeling like that but again that happens with every other liquid lipstick that I've had and that I've tried so I'm not gonna hate on it because of that because that does happen a lot with liquid lipsticks so overall I would say that the Kylie lip kit is pretty good 
Um, actually not pretty good. It's like actually really, really good. I loved the lip liner. Like I said, it wasn't super, super smooth, but it's so pigmented and it doesn't tug at your lips or anything like that. So it's smooth, but it's just not as smooth as I thought, if that makes any sense. But it is very pigmented. There's a little swatch for you. And then this one, the actual liquid lipstick, it's just, it's amazing. I'm in love. Um, I love the fact that the applicator is so fluffy, it's so easy to put on and to apply. It's small, so if you didn't want to use the lip liner, you could actually line your lips with this. I love the formulation of it when I first tried it on this morning. Like I said, it felt like I had nothing on my lips. I think that I just messed it up and I should have just taken it all off when I reapplied, but I didn't. But other than that, this is such a good formulation. It feels very lightweight. It feels like you don't have anything on and it looks beautiful. So I would have to say that the Kylie Lip Kit is definitely worth the hype and definitely worth the $29. I'm pretty sure you will like it as well, especially if you're used to wearing liquid lipsticks. If you don't like the feeling of dry lips, you might not like this just because with any liquid lipstick, it will dry out your lips, so just exfoliate before. But I really didn't see anything really dramatic. I think the Anastasia Beverly Hill liquid lipsticks are way more drying than this. And it's just a few dollars more expensive. So um, they're not, it's not too drying. But after a while, after you apply a few more coats, it will get drying. But at first, it's not drying at all. Like I said, it's super lightweight. It doesn't even feel like you have anything on your lips. I have really nothing to say but good things about the Kylie Lip Kit. I think it's absolutely beautiful, beautiful packaging. Um, I love how it feels on, I love the color, I love everything about it and I will definitely be buying more soon. So that was my review, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you found it helpful, please give this video a thumbs up, especially if you liked videos like this and if you would like me to review anything else for you, just leave it down in the comments below. Also, if you have any requests for videos, leave those down below as well. I would really appreciate that. Again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.